it's a me, Samuel K. Um, I'm here with um, Ricky and Tyler. It's me. Ricky Hi. and Mary Tyler Hendricks. Mary Tyler Moore? Sure. Mary Tyler Moore, bang for your buck. I'm very merry. People want more. Mary Tyler Moore. Nice to be here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. That old phrase. Ladies and say. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to NPR. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm Mary Tyler Moore. I'm beloved actress. Mary Tyler Moore. Beloved actress, web cartoonist. <laughs> <laughs> Has Mary Tyler Moore got a webcomic now? Yep. <laughs> uh, strangely, Mary Tyler Moore has actually been ghostwriting for what it's or for for what it's worth. Mary Worth all this time. Oh my <laughs> god, I would love it. <laughs> um They all kinda of look like her. <laughs> At least a lot of characters do. A lot of them do. I have a theory that like Joe Glelia the artist uh -huh. of um, Mary Worth. Let's do some Mary Worth chat here, guys. <laughs> uh, it's been a while. I have a feeling he has like, like a photo on his desk that he uses for facial like reference, <laughs> and it's just got like seven people in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> everybody looks the exact same in that fucking comic. He just gives him a different haircut. Throw a mustache on him. Fuck it. I think Steve Dillon does that nowadays, too. Because <clears throat> uh, I was reading, um... Shit. Shit. <laughs> I was reading, um... His run on Punisher Max with Jason Aaron. Mm -hmm. Let's just switch from talking about Mary Worth to talking about the fucking <laughs> Punisher. <laughs> Those are common interests. <laughs> exactly! Um... He's been doing, like, the same face on every character. He just gives them a different haircut and body style. <laughs> and he has a woman face and he has a man face. And he kind of almost did that in Preacher. But yeah. not as bad. Hi, everybody. This is Comics Chat with Samuel K. <laughs> They're making a Preacher TV show. They have for a while, haven't they? They're actually making it now, though. They, there's oh, a wow. trailer and everything. It's gonna be on AMC. Holy shit. Yeah. They've been in talk show for like seven years. I know. It, like, it was gonna be on HBO, and then it was gonna be like... Th that and like an adaptation of the Dark Tower. Yeah, the adaptation of Dark Tower is never gonna fucking happen. It's... No. <laughs> that will never, ever occur. You know, I was thinking about, like, like rereading Dark Tower, but you know what'll happen every time I try to read Dark Tower is I read the first four books and then realize the last three suck and I don't yep. read them. <laughs> Just, ah, no. When Stephen okay. King writes himself in as a character in the books, that's where I lose interest. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I I only ever read the first book, and the only thing I remember from it is that's where I learned the the phrase uh, "you can go fuck yourself and the horse you rode in on." Oh, really? <laughs> and that's that's all I really needed from that book. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I will say this: uh, this might be playing my hand a little too much, but um, no joke, the Gunslinger is my favorite book of all time. I yeah. love it. It's a good book. And, uh, I'm not sorry about it. My favorite book of all time is the Punk Rock Book of Lists. Yeah? Sorry. It's... I, that's the the most boring book I could think of that I ever purchased. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> what is it? It's exactly what it says. It's a, a list, like, it's just a bunch of lists in a book, you like, with different would, topics. Do you know what I would love? If it's the Punk Rock Book of Lists, okay? But it yeah. just, like, you open up on the front page and it says, Black Flag. And then, like, on the next page, <laughs> yeah. it says, The Stooges. <laughs> like, it's just oh, okay. lists of punk rock bands. <laughs> uh, that's, I mean, that's not far off. They, like, hired, like, a bunch of uh, people from, like, 
punk rock bands or punk ish bands like uh to make lists about different things like um one of the guys from like television um like made a list of like all their favorite pizzas they've ever eaten and <laughs> things like <laughs> so it's just completely mundane bullshit. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, here's, here's the list of Glenn Danzig's favorite hats that he owns. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think would be even better is if like they couldn't get like all punk rock stars. It's so just like, eh, here's Ronnie James Dio's list of uh, his favorite soaps. Like, <laughs> just, like, Ronnie James Dio's not a punk. <clears throat> you know that Ronnie James Dio is dead? Oh no. And the fact that we are living in a world post Ronnie James Dio is uh, a thing that weighs heavily on my heart every day. Ronnie James Dio de los Muertos. That's a good one. What was his name? Ronnie James Dio, Day of the Dead. That's what that means, Eric. Just so you know. Okay. I know you don't know Spanish. <laughs> nope. <laughs> like, that sounds like a terrible book, Tyler, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. There was a much better book I had, which was just a book that, um, all it was was just, um, like an encyclopedia of famous people who died from addictions. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? Yeah. That's, that's all right. Marilyn Monroe. Uh, I don't remember if she was in there. I just, I, I don't remember a whole lot about it. But there was, um, like it had like Van Gogh and like how he liked, he loved to fucking drink. Uh, what, what, what was the? There was one particular type of alcohol he loved. Sambuca. <laughs> <laughs> absinthe. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I was going to say, Van Gogh seems like an absinthe. Absinthe? absinthe? You know, absinthe makes absinthe. the heart go fro grow fond. That's fond, actually how I always <laughs> remember it is, because I'll try to think of that phrase, and then I'm like, oh yeah, absinthe, absinthe. Ah, there you go. Uh, I've never had absinthe. Um, I, I guarantee I wouldn't like it, though, because I hear it tastes like black licorice. Ooh, it good. does, um, and yeah. I actually really like it. Oh, really? I, I only had it once, because it's fucking expensive. Get, where did you get absinthe? I went to a liquor store and I bought it. Did you go to, like, Edgar Allan Poe's house? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I thought it was illegal. I uh, no, I mean, like, there's... Or did like, you get, like, absenta, which is the fake absinthe? I mean, it was listed as, like, just absinthe, but, like, there's, like, absinthe, like, the only thing, like, that's uh, technically illegal about it is, like, there's, like, one chemical in it that's supposed to cause hallucinations, even though it doesn't actually, but... Uh, yeah, um, it's the, uh, the wormwood. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And basically, they, they, like, figured out how to make absinthe without wormwood. So... Put so, a bunch of worms on the jobs. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's still <laughs> expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Big Absinthe is running our worms into the poorhouse. <laughs> Bastards. <sighs> oh, hey, I could have just gone through this exit and gotten those five coins earlier. Wow. Well. Eh. Good. Well, the worst part of this level is behind us. 65. I've never even had the fake absinthe, just because I like was reading about what it tastes like, and they said black licorice, and then I was like, well, not interested. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, it's... I won't say it's, like, anything special. I really liked it just because it was really strong, but it tasted like candy. Yeah. And <laughs> that's all I really needed. Like, they had to, like, take it away oh, from me. Oh, shit! Like, like, like... <laughs> Go ahead, Tyler. Oh, I was just saying, they, like, I, I kept, I got really drunk and I thought I was being really sneaky, like, trying to sneak into the kitchen to get some more absinthe. <laughs> <laughs> also, Tyler, I am totally picturing you wearing, like, 19th century Victorian yeah. era clothing while doing this. I, like, also, I was in my, my fanciest uh, steampunk gear. Right? 
<laughs> You're wearing a top hat with a fucking clock sticking out in the middle of it. <laughs> oh god. Fucking cravat with like a gear like is the, the, the pin on it. Be fucking great. Um <laughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> I can't breathe! Uh oh. I can't be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam's dead. That's it. Well, this is my let's play now. Welcome to <laughs> Tyler time. Ty and <laughs> I'm Tim the Tyler Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> One of my sons has HIV. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He's a goth. He's a goth with HIV. Oh. And this is his list. <laughs> of his favorite fabric softeners <laughs> for the for the favorite. goth industrial book of lists. Favorite flavors of gummy bears. <laughs> this linen scent makes Orange. me almost forget of my own mortality. Almost. <laughs> By the way, my name is Sean Vlad Vladimir Lestat Shadow Crypt. I'm looking for a bite to drink. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's what vampires talk like. <laughs> just so, just so you guys know, if you ever hear somebody talking like that, watch out. They're after your blood. They're there... for the rolling rock. The rolling rock. Oh yeah, don't get too drunk. Don't drink too much, like, is Rolling Rock American beer? Probably. Yeah, don't drink too much gross American beer. <clears throat> I've never had a Rolling Rock, so I don't know. It just seems like it's like... Does it not? Does Rolling Rock to me, to you guys, seem like... Like the beer that, like, somebody that thinks they're a beer snob drinks? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a beer snob, is the thing. Like, I always thought of, like, um, was it Bass or Bass? B-A-S-S -S beer? I don't know which it's how it's pronounced, but that one is like a, a lager that I've only ever seen, like, beer snobs have in their refrigerator. I've... You know, um, I'm a beer snob in that I think that all beer is trash. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... That's pretty much my take. Uh, I just want something that'll get me drunk fast. I don't care what it tastes like, but beer is not strong enough. Right. The thing is, you like get full on beer before you're drunk usually. Like beer can't kill me. <laughs> beer can't kill me. I'm too strong. Rawr. Have I already caught Nips again? Yeah, you. I your... think so. I think so. That was like oh, the end of your yeah. last LP. I, I have some bad news for you. What? You caught Nips. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, sorry. About Wasn't that. there an episode of Home Improvement where they thought that one of the <laughs> yes. kids had Nips? <laughs> nips? Wait. <laughs> I, I hope they do. I, I imagine all three of them did. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what a silly thing to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> this is just falling apart. <laughs> what kind of whiskey are you drinking, Tyler? Um, it's not like it. It's not anything you would know. Okay. Uh, this is something. It's so bad and like so cheap. Like it's. I actually bought it when I was in Evansville, and I still haven't finished it because it's that <laughs> shitty. <laughs> is it in a plastic bottle? Yes, it's in a plastic oh, bottle. It's, it's one of those big plastic bottles. It has like the, the little like white thing on the top because they don't think that people will actually drink straight from it. So they've got like. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, Barton Premium American Whiskey, yep, a yep. blend. Where was it made? Uh, it's probably not America. <laughs> It is. It says uh, Bardstown, Kentucky. Oh, oh, is it a is it a bourbon? Yeah, it, technically. Um, like it's got like a lot of grain alcohol in it. Ah! Mm. 
Also, the turtle shell completely fucking breaks most of the stars in this level. Yeah. Um, I'm drinking wild turkey, of course. That's my favorite. Of course. Just like your hero, Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah, my hero when I was like 17. Uh, I'm maybe maybe a little later than that. I remember when like when I, I first met you, like oh, one of the yeah, things I you told me was like, a lot. You're yeah, right. you, you like celebrated his birthday or his death day. I don't remember which. Both, probably. Yeah, probably like when I was 17 and then up through like my early to mid 20s. Yeah. And then I kind of realized he was sort of a racist asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Whoops. No. But, uh, yeah, I, I, have a, I have a Hunter S. Thompson tattoo, in fact. I've got the Gonzo fist on my right shoulder, and I want to get it covered up. <laughs> no, 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 this is Gonzo's fist. You're right, yeah, it's, <laughs> <Like the Muppet? laughs> it's Gonzo from the Muppets. He's going to shoot himself out of a cannon, and it will be very comical. Well, didn't Hunter throw a stop somewhere? He shot out of a cannon after he died? Yeah. yeah. He did, in fact, he tried to get it up. Wow! That's, <laughs> we've cracked the code. We've cracked the he code. All, he, only wa he just wanted to be a Muppet. That's why he was so angry, because he no. his skin was flesh and not felt. <laughs> oh, no. Poor Hunter. Ah, shit. I'll take the wrong way around. I like these guys. Yeah, these like weird happy. like mummy thwomps. <laughs> with their scary teeth. Does that mean the thwomps like want to be dead? Because they're always angry. Yeah. These guys are pretty happy. <laughs> it's, it's really rough being a thwomp, dude. Uh, they, all they think about is just bad. death and dying constantly. Sweet release. They probably um, got like bad back issues from like just landing on their asses all that. Yeah, oh, true. Oh, yeah, that's true. Have you ever seen, seen a thwomp try to get up out of a beanbag chair with his <laughs> bad back? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking pathetic. Like, that, not, not, I'm not trying to give, talk shit about him. It's, like, actually just pathetic. It's sad. But poor thwomp. Like, look at this guy. Look at this guy here. Oh. Had you on the ropes there, didn't I, Rick? You thought I was going to get hit. Not really. Look at these guys. Look at their faces. <laughs> They're pretty scary is what I'm trying to say. Ah. Ah. It just caught up to me finally. Oh, was it that far behind? No, I'm just... Oh, oh you just... reaction time. You, just, you were too scared to scream <laughs> at first. You had to calm yeah. down a little bit. Before you can scream. I've been there. God damn it! <laughs> good. Oh my god. Motherfucker. Okay. I'm gonna try to salvage this. Okay. This is gonna go all the way back up now, guys. Sorry to do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, as far as wild turkey goes, I buy it because it's like mid-shelf crappy whiskey. Oh, I was going to tell you a story about whiskey. Okay. So, uh, Ben moved out a while ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, there was, um, this enormous fucking handle of cheap whiskey he brought here. It was called, like, like... I don't know, Incest Valley, Kentucky's <laughs> delicious whiskey, I don't know, but... Heaven Hill. Yeah, Heaven Hill. Um, but, like, it was sitting on top of our refrigerator. It's a dying whiskey. It was sitting on top of our refrigerator, and I never touched the stuff, and neither did Ben. I don't even know why he had it, because I've <laughs> never seen him drink whiskey. Like, <laughs> but it was sitting on top of the refrigerator... And then when he moved out, he took it down off the top of the refrigerator, 
poured it out, and then put the bottle on the table. <laughs> <What the hell? laughs> he, like, I just like came home. He'd left. Also, how did you miss this? I don't know. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Eric. How, that's how I missed it. You dick. <laughs> it's got like rare ones on everything. <laughs> Um, I missed it because, uh, eat my fucking ass, you dildo. <laughs> like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, yeah. Took it down off the top of the fridge. Poured it down the sink. Oh, did that... Shy Guy just attack that, uh, the bomb? I don't know. Did he? I think it did. The bomb's still there. Yeah, see those coins? You didn't hit any of those guys. Weird. Okay. No, no, I hit the, uh, I hit the spiny. Oh, okay. Oh, you gotta get the coin for this to count. <laughs> God damn it! Whoa, up you go. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> 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 mm, it does my heart good. Okay. See Mario slowly die. <clears throat> oh shit, I just thought of something. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh -huh. Never mind. I just kind of screwed myself up. I'm fine. I'll get through it somehow, some way. Oh no, wait, no, I gotta go back in the pyramid for another star anyway, so. We're good. We're fine. Hold on, I didn't want that. It's easier to do with this with the cap. Yeah. I like that you could do two jumps without the, the hat on. Yeah. And, and then, no, you do two jumps. And then the third jump will slow make you fly. Even if you don't have the cap at the beginning. You know what I'm talking about? I don't like the implication. <laughs> <laughs> you never had the cap. You never had the cap, you fucker! <laughs> you better be quiet or I'm gonna cap you. With a gun. Okay. Oh. Uh, I always thought those things that fly off of that look like cornflakes. Yeah. But anyway, my point about this whiskey thing is, he took the time to pour all the whiskey out. <laughs> but didn't throw the bottle away. Was it a nice bottle? No! It was in a plastic uh, bottle! <laughs> like, oh, well. <laughs> it was a curious incident. <laughs> Make like a bird feeder out of it. Oh well, I guess I'll just go stand. Oh. Oh no! It's, it's this Andros. boss that's in every Nintendo yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Andros and that thing from Wind Waker. Um, and, and the thing Bongo from Bongo Bongo. Yeah, Bongo Bongo. <laughs> oh. Wow! Oh. oh God. Oh. What? What's happening? Whoa. <laughs> that has never happened before. <laughs> Ever to anybody. I know. <laughs> Don't knock me off the thigh, please. I still really like the way this enemy looks, though. Yeah, he looks cool. Got those square fingers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Grabble. Mario just murdered the shit out of that guy. It's supposed to be a casket? Yeah, like a sarcophagus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Here we go. Uh. Oh, hi, sleepyhead. Hey. Look who this is, everybody. Hey, it's me. <laughs> hey, Tyler. <laughs> I'm gonna pet Tyler now, everybody. <laughs> Tyler just woke up on my floor and came over here. 
<laughs> hey, sleepyhead. <laughs> Oh, I hate this coin. Yeah, same. She can't see where the sand ends. Okay. Yep, we're in good shape here, I think. All fight, all fight, we're in good shape. That's my, uh, my Liverpool accent. Well, I think we're good. in good shape. See? <laughs> Are people in Liverpool ghosts? Can you hear? Oh, we're in good shape. Oh, Frank, we're in good shape. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 Those always remind me of the blockheads. The blockheads from Gumby. Oh, yeah. oh shit, well. Well, speaking of blockheads. Speaking of blockheads. No. Oh. Do you are you trying to tell me that my accent isn't spot on, Tyler? <laughs> oh, I, I I was just wondering. Wait, I didn't know go? if there was like some what? Where did Sam go? Hello. Oh, it's me. <laughs> who is from this? Liverpool. Oh, who who is this? Who are you? It's it's me, John Lennon. <laughs> what? Oh, fuck you! Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's actually Ringo Starr. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing with you, I'm Joel Jarrison. <laughs> <laughs> See? Like, <laughs> it works for all of them. <laughs> Hello, I'm Paul McCartney. <laughs> Isn't that how he talks? Now you're turning into Barney the Dinosaur. <laughs> Um, what was the name of the other Beatle uh, that got kicked out of the band? Pete Best? Pete Best. He was bested. Bested. I think it star. Jimmy um, Beatle. <laughs> I don't know if this is an actual quote or not, but one of my favorite slams in all of history was, um, somebody asked George Harrison, is Ringo Starr the best drummer in the world? And George he's, he's Harrison not said, the he's band. not the best drummer in the Beatles. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. That's fucking brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't these guys look kind of like the blockheads? Well, speaking of blockheads. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Oh, I choked myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was too perfect. <laughs> like the same conversation. Twice. They do look like the blockheads from Gumby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever ask that question again. Yeah. No, I won't. no, you're jinxing me here. <sighs> like, I'm imagining asking you, like, I should have driving in a car. <laughs> <laughs> we crashed the car, and my final words as I bleed out. Uh, speaking of blockheads. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, you must? Lord, I think this whiskey might be working too well. It's... Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's usually what happens for the, the end of these. For the end of a recording, I'm just a little buzz, a little goofed up. And then I get kind of careless and bad at the game. Like, more careless and bad than normal. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm really, like, excited that I've learned how to do this little cool accent now, too. Oh, God. Hey, hey, you can do crank calls. <laughs> I can do just like, just like your heroes, the Jerky Boys. <laughs> my heroes, the Jerky Boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ringo Starr. I want to make a reservation for your hotel. Like <laughs> <Something> that. <laughs> it got even worse. It's like a cowboy, <laughs> cowboy Ringo Starr. <laughs> yeah. Howdy, partner. Yeah, like... I'm Ringo <laughs> Starr. <laughs> Ringo combined with the... Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Um, I'm Ringo. Guys. Ringo and uh, John Wayne combined to one person. <laughs> Ringo Wayne. Yeah. Wango Star. <laughs> That's right. Nope. Well. Oh boy. Speaking of blockheads. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh. <coughs> okay. I need to get in touch with um with Fig at some point and see if he has yeah. that amazing prank call. Mm-hmm. The bunk beds. The bunk beds, which I've described many times. Yep. So I won't do it again. You better not. There's, there's a video of uh, Roy and I somewhere out in the ether of us making prank phone calls. And for some reason, I'm doing like the most unrealistic fake voice for these prank calls. <laughs> I'm actually just going like, Hello? <laughs> like... <laughs> this like loud screech. <laughs> and also, I'm talking about bunk beds in those too. <laughs> the bunk beds thing is my go-to for a prank call if I'm going to make a prank phone call. Because it's a really dumb thing to get to somebody to say. Right. There's. I, I don't I don't know if I've ever talked to you about this, uh, but uh, there's a, a podcast that I really like, Sam. That's uh, called The Bone Zone. Yeah. And uh, like half of what they do, like they kind of just fucking do whatever they feel like. But a lot of times they'll just get bored and decide to uh, <coughs> make phone calls to different people. And uh, a lot of times it's like the same dumb joke. Like they'll uh, like they uh, they'll call a, a sex hotline. With a uh, and they'll say that they uh, they bought a uh, a lie detector, yeah, that works on phones, and then they'll just ask them random questions, and then just either have like a like a, a bell ding as if like something was correct, <laughs> or uh, just a loud buzzer sound, and just <laughs> and they'll just pay money to talk to like a, a sex hotline call or a worker, and just ask them random shit, and <laughs> wait until they get so mad they hang up. <laughs> this sounds like a lot of fun. It's it's a pretty good show. Um, one of my uh, one of my famous prank phone calls that I made was like, I woke up one morning and immediately like near the bed that I was sleeping in, there was a phone book, and I woke the person up who was with me and I said, I'm gonna make some prank phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> this was my first thought upon waking up. And so I called a Hot Topic at the mall, oh, no. and I was like, Yo, this is Tony Chopper, just calling to give you fair <laughs> warning here, because I'm a businessman, I know you're a businessman too. Um, I'm opening a new shop across the way from you there in the mall, and I'm gonna call it Hot Topic! <laughs> <laughs> and I got the manager of this Hot Topic so fucking mad at me! <laughs> <laughs> because I, I don't think they realized it was a prank call. Like, they thought that I was actually calling to make, like, put them out of business. <laughs> and, I was, and I was like, I'm gonna hire this guy, he's my cousin Vinny, he's gonna stand outside outside of the Hot, hot Topic. And it'll and he'll people walk by and they'll go, hey Vinny, what do you think of Hot Topic over there? And he'll go, forget about it. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, you go ahead and do that, asshole. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, those were the days when I would just wake up and my immediate reaction to being awake is, let's make some prank phone calls. <laughs> 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 Waste these poor people's time while they're just trying to That's, work. You know what? It feels like a good day to be an asshole. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <coughs> oh man. Wait, why are we? Oh, I'm doing 100 coins now. Oh right. Oh boy. It's fine. <clears throat> Don't be such a baby, Eric. There's just marks. Fuck this guy. <laughs> oh no! Well. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> 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 
that that was a that was a big part of my like that was a hobby for me almost when I was in like <laughs> my early twenties, just calling people and bothering them. <laughs> like, I kind of wish I could still do it, but now there's consequences for doing it. Uh -huh. Like, also I'm a thirty year old man. I think <laughs> my <laughs> great call days should be behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. There's like that that amazing one where um I called the hotel and I was like talking to the desk clerk at the hotel and I was like, hey I've got some dietary restrictions, so I just need to know what's on your continental <laughs> breakfast before I stay at your hotel. Uh, my name is Doug Teague, because that was the fake name I always give people. <laughs> Yeah. I could easily just say, yeah, my name is Samuel K, cause the <laughs> but I had to have a fake name. <laughs> It'll do who the fuck I am. But like, <laughs> I was just like, well, do you have bananas on the bar? Yeah, and you have oranges? I just listed every fruit I could think of. <laughs> For like five minutes. <laughs> uh... Those were my glory days. Also, I didn't record these or anything. I did one. I did the bunk beds one. But, I just did it because I was an asshole. <laughs> like, oh, <God>. There was zero <laughs> point to it, other than I wanted to make somebody's day a little worse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give them, like, like, this poor woman. I was a desk clerk at a hotel. I know it fucking sucks. Let's just harass this poor lady. Whatever. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I never really did prank calls myself because, like, when I was really young and I didn't really understand, like, that nine one one was oh! like, a, like, yeah, oh, like, no. I was like, hey, people like to do prank calls, but I don't know any phone numbers. I'll like, call nine one one. No, this one. <laughs> Jesus! He just stopped and stood up while you were holding that box. Yeah? It's weird. You didn't know you could do that? No. Well, Eric, now you do. <laughs> yeah, I think I called 911 at one point. I have called 911 exactly once in my life. That, that surprises me. <laughs> I said that surprises me. I always deal with emergencies on my own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised that I actually got scared enough to call 911? Uh, or that I, I you're surprised that I have only called 911 once? <laughs> We're both. Uh, actually, um, this is a weird story. I'll tell you this story, you guys. Since we're not talking about Mario and we've just been gabbing at each other. Mm -hmm. I used to live in this, like, rundown apartment complex. Now I live in a slightly less rundown apartment complex. <laughs> and, um, this old woman lived next to me, and she lived all by herself, and she was, like, 108. Like, she's, like, super old. And, <laughs> like, really fucking old. I'm being really rude to this woman right now. <laughs> she was so oh, goddamn old, old, this old bag. Old bag of bones. But, like, <laughs> um, she was, like, losing her mind. She was, you know, like, kind of had some dementia issues going on. And mm -hmm. she came over to my house. She was like, hey, can I borrow your phone? I need to call the police. And I'm like, okay, sure, no problem. And so, like, I'm figuring, like, you know, like, somebody's stolen something from her. Or, like, something bad has happened. No, she just calls the police and says, like, hey, I saw in the news that there was a bag of money lost in, like, Wayne County or something like that. <laughs> and I oh, found God. it. I have it. <laughs> and she was like, no, I don't want to keep this money for myself, but if, if nobody claims it, if nobody claims it, then I'm just going to split it up for my family. And then, like... Like, the police officer, like, said, um, now, where'd you get this, where'd you get a phone? Like, talking to her. And so, she's like, oh, okay, well, they want to talk to you. So I picked up the phone, and, like, uh, the police officer on the other line goes, okay, um, we know all about Jackie here. Like, if she ever comes <laughs> over and asks to borrow your phone to call 911 again, don't give it to her. Just, <laughs> because apparently oh, this old woman was always calling 911. 
um, I was really drunk, and so, like, she invited me into her house, and I sat in her house for a while, and, like, she had this radio that was just, like, blasting classic rock. <laughs> like, the hell? And then I fixed her sink for her, because she told me her sink was clogged up, so I went over and fixed her sink. Mm -hmm. And then um, she was just like, well, when I when we find out who that money belongs to, hopefully they'll let me keep part of it, and you know what, I'll give you some of it too. And uh, <laughs> I was like, okay. It was sad. Thanks. I'm, I'm trying to like figure out, like, cause, uh, okay, if she had to borrow your phone... And like she's called multiple times. Like, did she just call so much that they said, "Okay, you can't have a phone anymore"? I think so. Like, her her daughter would come like to her house all the time, and eventually she was like moved out and put into a nursing home, like mm -hmm. because she couldn't live on her own any longer. Uh, but like, <laughs> right? Exactly. I'm pretty sure that her daughter took her phone away because she was always <laughs> calling the police. <laughs> Just for, like, nothing. Uh, also, she came over to me one time, and she said that, like, somebody's been breaking into her house and stealing things from her. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, like, I figured she was just telling me to, like, keep an eye out. And she was yeah. like, well, um, here's the thing, Sam, and I'm really sorry I did this, but I told the office I thought it was you. <laughs> I was oh, like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> And I was like, why the fuck would you do that? And she was like, oh, I don't know. I thought it might have been because you're a young kid, but we found out who it was. <laughs> Turns out, like, nobody was breaking into her house and stealing anything. She oh, was no. Man. Just nuts. God, that's, that's pretty bad. When I, wor when I used to work for DirecTV, I'd occasionally get, like, crazy people phone calls like that. And I'd, there was one time uh, a lady who called in uh, saying that she had... Uh, that terrorists had been breaking into her <laughs> house. <laughs> she specified that they'd been breaking in by picking her lock with a butter knife, which I don't know like how she deduced that. But... They left the knife in the lock, Tyler. <laughs> of course. Uh, and that's how you knew it was they... terrorists, because that's how they do it. <laughs> it's like their calling card. Yeah, and, and they'd been breaking in and uh, ordering porn on <laughs> her... <laughs> 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 because these terrorists are horny as fuck. <laughs> of course. Man. They're, they're terrorists from New York. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it order it. <laughs> That's what my nephew who lives here told me anyway. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's so good. Um, there was, um, god, I've had such a bunch of weird run-ins with, like, old people. Just because of, like, my profession and working, like, in an ambulance service. Yeah. Um, there was this lady, and we called her a frequent flyer, because, like, if this woman, like, had a hangnail, she'd call an ambulance. Yeah. Like, the, the thing was, she was really fucked up. Like, she had, like, super, like, serious medical problems. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's probably better for her to err on the side of caution yeah, than calling exactly. for an ambulance. But one time she called and she was like, I'm an insulin-dependent diabetic and I think my blood sugar's kind of low. And I was like, okay, we'll send a, we'll send an ambulance out to take you to the hospital. And she's like, no, nah, I don't think that's just as important. Can you send somebody up to help make a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> she, was like, she was like, I don't think I can stand oh, no. up from my wheelchair long enough to make a sandwich. And if I do, I'll fall because my blood sugar is too low. Can you send somebody out to make me a sandwich? <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> fucking... Oh, God. Uh, oh, long no. story short, I asked my supervisor, and he was like, yeah, I'll go cook and make her a fucking sandwich. <laughs> and we actually sent somebody in one of our, like, taxis to go out and make this woman a sandwich. Oh, no. Yeah, she was real fucked up. I met her once in person. And she was, um, I always assumed she was, like, a hundred years old, because she had so much wrong with her, and she always, hello, like, that kind of old lady voice, you know? Um, turns out she was 45. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I, I would have guessed she was, like, 88, like, even looking at her and listening to her. It was nuts. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, everybody. <laughs> yes.
Oh, that's fun, though. <laughs> it's a good note to end on, is an old woman who was ravaged by time and medical illnesses, and I think she was a drug addict, too. Like, that's how she ended up like that. But whatever. Oh, boy. Oh, well. <laughs> Super Mario 64! Hooray! ba 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 <laughs> Let's -a go away! Until next time, when I post another episode of the, of the show. Bye, everybody. It's me. <laughs> hey, guys, you know what my favorite song is? What? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M.